Hello and welcome to the Learning Centre. In this short video, we are going to discuss developing a thesis statement. So what is a thesis statement? Thesis statements are a one sentence summary or guide of an essay, and they are usually the last sentence of the introductory paragraph. A thesis statement will guide your reader by explaining your position clearly. In some ways, a thesis statement should address your original research question and provide an answer to it. An easy way to think about a thesis statement is to consider it a one sentence explanation of your perspective on an issue. It provides your perspective clearly and succinctly. Another way to think of it is a short version of your essay. That means that if anyone reads your thesis statement, they will have a very clear understanding of your topic and the direction of your essay. Put simply, a thesis statement makes a claim or takes a position on an issue or topic. It is this statement that you will spend the remainder of your essay supporting. That means that all the evidence and research that you gather throughout your research process will be aimed at supporting the thesis statement. You can think of the thesis statement as the tip of a pyramid with all the evidence you gather, the base of the pyramid, arranged into paragraphs, sentences and references. A thesis statement must also have a very clear direction and have a point of view. Often, a thesis statement takes a position on one side of an issue and argues a particular position. A thesis statement is not only a statement of your position, but is both the beginning and ending of the process of your thinking on an issue. It is the product of your thinking on a topic or theme. For this reason, a thesis statement cannot be written without a considerable amount of thinking and effort on your part. It is created after you have come to the end of your logic quest, and for this reason, your preliminary thesis statement may change over time as you continue to research. You may find that you will need to modify it slightly as you continue through the long process of research. To write a preliminary thesis, you should read key literature in your field, and from this write a preliminary thesis, which explains your position on the topic. Another way to think of a thesis is a conclusion in the introduction. This is because you use a thesis to clearly state your position before the main evidence is presented in the body of the essay. This means that the reader understands your opinion or position very clearly in the first paragraph. Consider the following thesis statements. You can see that each thesis states a theme or topic clearly and also has a clear direction. The direction words allow the reader to see the position of the author clearly. Let's discuss the process of writing a thesis statement. For most people, writing a thesis statement is an intensive process. Some people can sit down and write a paper from scratch, but most can't. Even academics who have been writing for years will spend considerable time thinking about and writing a very clear thesis statement. This shows how important a thesis statement is. Most people will also need to sketch a draft essay structure and plan before they finalise their thesis. Remember that we should think of our thesis statement as something that will change or evolve over time if necessary. It always starts as a preliminary thesis statement. The thesis statement should contain the main idea or theme of your work and should also have a direction. This will help you know very clearly where you should direct your efforts during the research process. Remember that as you become more knowledgeable on a topic and do more research, you may find that you need to modify your preliminary thesis statement based on the evidence you find. Do not feel that once you have a preliminary thesis statement that you cannot change it. In the previous video, we discussed creating a research question. You should use this research question as a foundation of your thesis statement. Use this question as a starting point for your research. Research the key information on the topic and then brainstorm as many points as you can on the issue. This will allow you to think around the issue and take a position. After you have taken a position or formulated a perspective, you can turn your research question into a statement that contains both the topic 
and the direction. Let's look in more depth at how to create the thesis statement. Let's use this research question as an example. All sentences have a subject, which is usually at the start of the sentence before the verb. In this case, the subject place is held by the word who. Sentences also have a predicate, which is the remainder of the sentence which comes after the verb, and it makes an assertion or comment about the subject. In our question here, the subject is in clear, so the who takes the place, and the what is the rest of the sentence, in this case, responsible for choosing whom is injured in a car accident when self-driving cars are involved. In this question, we are clearly looking for a person or group of persons in the research. In the second question, we have how in the subject position. So the research will be seeking to find an effect or an outcome. In the third question, we are looking for a what. So we're going to define something. The last question is written as a yes-no question, which we discussed in the last video as being a poor construction. But the question that is implied here is also what. Your goal as a researcher is to answer the questions by completing the missing subject information. Once you have researched this, you can turn your research question into a statement by filling in the missing subject information. So we research our question, then we turn our question into a statement by replacing the WH question with an answer. Returning to our first example question, we have found that the most likely who is car manufacturers. Then we change the verb of the sentence and write the predicate or the remainder of the sentence to fit. If we want to add more information, we can add another clause by using a comma and adding that information. Then we put all of these elements together and we have a very clear thesis statement that has both a topic and a direction. In this case, manufacturers are responsible when people are injured in car accidents with self-driving vehicles, except in severe weather events. Now let's check our thesis statement against the criteria we discussed earlier. If we can confidently say that it meets these, then we have a strong preliminary thesis statement. Another way of checking your thesis statement is to put the phrase, this essay will argue that in front of it and see if it makes sense. The second example here does not make sense because you cannot argue a statement of fact. That is, there is nothing to argue here. This is a weak thesis which has no direction and is not acceptable for academic writing. Remember that your first thesis statement is a preliminary or working thesis statement and it is okay to change it as you continue your research. Your thesis should guide you to write your essay structure and it should make your position very clear. There are many ways to do this but one example way is to choose a language which will give you a mild or strong thesis.